Well, hello everybody. My name's Ian. And this is me shed. Welcome to me shed. Ah, uh, this is going to be a strange video. And you will find I'm going to repeat myself in the video. You know, it's a little difficult when you're a, you're a YouTube creator. I, I don't look at it like that. I'm, the way I look at it is... I'm showing a few friends that, that as what I get up to in, in my shed. And there's lots of things I do that I don't video. You never see. And this is one of the occasions. Uh, if you've been on the live streams, which are frequent, like uh, uh, Ali Max, Snobby Dobby Scrap Picker, Scrapping Irish, Raphael Scrapper, Shark Scrapper, Shark Scrapper, a few others. You will know that uh, I, I've had a leak in my bathroom. I don't know where it's come from. It can only come from four, four places. Either the radiator can leak, the, the, the toilet the input, the uh, the water inlet to the toilet can leak. The water outlet to the toilet can leak. Or somebody who's putting water into the toilet can miss. Like if, you, like if you've not got your glasses on and it's dark and you can't aim straight. So it's a very limited, you know, options. Anyway, so uh, I've had uh, I've had a water leak in the bathroom, and I couldn't find where the leak had come from at all. It, it manifested itself in that uh, my, my vinyl floor covering started to go mouldy when I took the floor covering up. Uh, the substrate was all wet. Now I've got a pretty uneven, pretty uneven uh, floorboarding. So I leveled that up with a four milli piece of plywood and it's had a floor covering on top. So in over the last eight weeks I've taken that up. I've left it to see where the leak comes from. There hasn't been a leak since. So this weekend, I've uh, decided to, right, rip up the old levelling plywood, buy some new floor covering, put the new floor covering down, everything back in, and uh, I wasn't going to film it, however. At one point through in at one point in the video something happened that was I did unexpected. I broke something. And it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday afternoon and the shop shut at four PM. I, I think it was only about two PM, so I had plenty of time. I didn't expect to break it. Bloody hell I, I've never brought one of these things in my life. But the scrap goddess shined upon me. See, it doesn't have to be scrap, it doesn't have to be copper, it doesn't have to be brass or aluminium. In this case, it's a piece of plastic. Anyway, I'll let the video uh, tell the story. But uh, I've been, I've been, I've been playing with this, haven't I? It, I've, this is fantastic. It's a uh, a floating floor system laminate 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 flooring but it's made out of plastic so you can put it in your bathrooms it won't swell with uh, any water ingress and it was a joy to fit it just clicked in no problem whatsoever we've got a nice uh, wood effect grain it was a joy it's joy to cut joy to fit and uh, when it's down, you can't even see a joint. Anyway, I'm waffling there a little bit. 
Well, I'm going to leave you with... Yeah, this is the intro. Delve into the film. And uh, I'll see you somewhere along the line in the next one. As I said, I'm going to repeat myself because this is the intro. Right, take care. Hello folks, my name's Ian. Right, I just want to share with you a very tiny little video of how I got a tiny stroke of good luck. Hey, could only happen to, couldn't happen, couldn't happen to a better chap, could it? Right, if you've been following along on the streams, you'll know I've had a little bit of misfortune that I have had a an unidentifiable leak in the bathroom. Uh, how that came to light is the floor covering started to get mouldy. Took the floor covering up and the underlying uh, uh, floor leveller, sheet of plywood, was uh, was wet through. Uh, just took it out the bin to show you, really. Uh, my floor in the bathroom isn't quite level, and because I was putting some uh, vinyl floor covering down, to get it level, I put a, a sheet of very thin plywood down. I think it's about four milli thick. And it's common practice. However, as you can see, I've had this water damage. That was the bit that goes under the shower, as you'll see later. Uh, this is actually uh, the shape of the toilet pan. And that's the... Uh, the slot where the water pipes come through the floorboard. Oh, so, no, that's it. It's that way. Oh, if you can tell that, eh? Put it that way so you can see. No, oh, so you can see the shape of the toilet. I don't know what's happened. The floor's been down for about uh, eighteen months, and then about about eight weeks ago, I had this problem. Uh, took the floor covering up, let the floor in dry. I ain't had a leak since, so I've no idea. But I'm going to surmise that it's the joint on the pan where it joined the, joined the soil stack. Maybe my rather generous. Almost went on 19 stone and uh, six foot miss. Maybe I disturbed it. I don't know. Anyway, that had to come up. New piece of plywood go down. Floor covering on top of that. And that's where we're going to carry on in the bathroom. Bathroom, shower room, toilet room, whichever you want to call it. Alright, so I have now just finished laying this floor in okay i thought it easiest it's, it's like a floating floor it's laminate flooring but it's made out of plastic okay i thought the easiest way to do that would be to take my sink unit out disconnecting all that and rather than cut fancy little pieces out to get it under the uh the door jam i don't know what you call that i take mine off so that means i could fit fit it pretty close there and then I can put my piece of wood back however in the process of taking the basin unit out disconnecting it taking the basin waste off the basin waste nut broke so now I have to go out and get one. So I've just come out up the car door to set off and to be neighbour over there shooting Ian. Do you want some bits of metal? I said yeah I'm always for a few bits of metal. So I thought I'll, I'll wander over get the few bits of metal first because he's put another skip on his drive there and then like oh yeah yeah uh, 
shower frame, bit of aluminium. I love that. He popped out and I said, you changing everything in your bathroom? He said, yeah. I said, you're not changing a, a basin, are you? He said, yeah. There, all broke up. <laughs> I tell you what, the scrap gods shine on you, don't they? Look okay, at that. No, I don't have to drive to the local DIY store. I get some brass. I get some aluminium. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I won't even attempt to try and break that glass this time. So uh, I've got to get back in that bathroom and finish that uh, unit back. But hang on, if he's changed the basin, where's the taps? And eyes like a shit rat. right? You're not going to see this, are you? Not a lot of copper, not some copper. Right, so there we go. Uh, that's what happens when you get a leaky toilet. So this new floating floor down. I've got the basin back in, connecting all up. I've just got now to do the grouting at the back. Uh, the tile came off down there, I've been a bit rough handed so I've got to put that back in place and then the, the plint I have to take mm, God knows half a millimetre off that with a, a file it just this must be a little bit thicker than the previous flooring and then of course I've got to put the uh, door the door jam back. Right, I'll go finish that and uh, you lot, I'll catch you lot in the next video, which should be about the uh, the plumbing in the in the attic. <laughs>